I'm Anita Lawrence, your Good Day Sun Lakes host, and I'd like to welcome you to Coffee with the GM for the month of October. Chris Mitchell, the Sun Lakes General Manager, is here to discuss questions and topics of interest to the community. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, as I take a sip uh, for Coffee with the GM of my coffee. Well, how are you doing? I'm good. I've had, I've had my two cups this morning. Excellent, excellent. I'm still catching up then, so uh, I think you'll be ahead of me. I'm switching to water now. Okay, fair enough. So the weather is changing out there, a little fog this morning. There's a little fog, and uh, hopefully, you know, it will bring cooler temperatures, and I it will be so. uh, a good winter so that we get sent to this heat cool down it will be great a little rain in the forecast today i hope it happens right, we'll see we'll see i don't trust the weatherman well we have a lot to discuss today yes we do so let's get and going. it's happy halloween in advance happy halloween um, i love halloween yes i'm going to be making sure my daughter don't know yet what my uh five-year-old she just turned five, five? uh how what she's going to dress up as but uh i'm sure uh, she'll have several ideas and uh, i'll probably have to buy two or three uh, outfits for her because you know I, I, whatever she wants I'm gonna give her heck yeah yeah they're only little ones that's it that's it okay okay let's well, let's do it let's do it the south driving range is closed for yes. receding yes. when will it reopen so they will reopen on October 31st uh, then what we're going to do is close the north and then have people then can uh, practice on the drive range on the south uh, while the north is reseeded. So October 31st, everyone, that's when the south driving range will be open. Okay. Are there any updates on the renovation of the pickleball courts? Right now, it's still toward the end of October. I know we're in October at the beginning. Uh, the vendor for the paint and everything is already lined up. We're moving forward. Uh, we're just trying to make sure we get the overhang, the vendor for the um, awning or whatever to shade structure. Um, because we're changing the orientation of the courts, we want to make sure that the players who participate uh, out there have some shade because, you know, it gets get hot mm -hmm. and they need to get out of the sun. So uh, right now, though, we're still target date, end of October. Great. There will be another COVID vaccine clinic yes. on Wednesday, November 2nd. Yes. I don't have much of the details. Uh, it is on the website. I think it's uh, tw Main Clubhouse. Main Ballroom, Clubhouse. Twelve to 12 four. Twelve to four. Okay. Yes. Car is doing a great job on this. We continue to do this and several other uh, health-focused events, and so she's really doing good on that. The shots will be uh, Pfizer and Moderna, and I believe they are the new bivalent. Yes. Thank you. See, you're you're up to date on this. You should just got my shot there. already. Okay. Very good. So you're. It is that new uh, whatever sequence or whatever that they will be providing. So head on down there. You don't need an appointment. You can also walk in because I know um, some people have put reservations in, but they still bring plenty of doses for walk-ins as well. Okay. There will not be an out-of-this-world Italian feast this Thursday, October 13th. Right. I understand it will resume on October 20th. Do you have some more information about yes, that? Yes, and so uh, Jason gave an update during the delegates meeting. So ICC has their event on Thursday and they're growing, they're getting back to post-COVID uh, fun and having social socializing, et cetera. And so we're gonna be moving resources over there. So the second Thursday of every month, and we'll make sure Hernan and the Good, Lake Sun, Good Day Sun Lakes team gets the information out. But the second Thursday of the month, we will not be having the Italian feast. Instead, Chef will, though, provide a couple of Italian plates just to, to order at the restaurant. So you can still get your Italian fix, um, but uh, the second uh, Thursday of the yes. month, there will be no Italian feast uh, event. Okay. The restaurant is sponsoring an Oktoberfest this Saturday, October 15th, from 5 until 9 on the veranda. Yes, and tickets are still being sold we only have 20 tickets sold as of today. Today's the 11th. That was we're filming only 20. So if we don't reach our minimum, we will have to cancel it. And so please, if uh, you're interested in participating, go get a ticket, go see the uh, front uh, reception desk or the um, Betty hostess. station, the hostess station. Uh, they can help you out with buying tickets, but we need to get more or we will have to cancel the event. Mm -hmm. Well, tickets are $25, yes. but 
Um, the veranda is going to be closed just for this event, mm -hmm. and there's going to be music and beer and there lots be. of good German food prepared by Chef Chris. There will be. There will be. So, again, we hope that you can, can come out. Um, and I know right now we're working uh, with Thomas and Chef Chris to make sure that we get count in the calendar far in advance so we can give plenty of advance notice uh, for our members. And so the future events, we're working on that because I know that there's been some people that didn't know about the event and uh, we apologize for that, but please participate. Okay, sounds like a good mm -hmm. time. The South Clubhouse Fitness Center will be closed Wednesday, October 12th. Yes. Why is it closed? So right now um, it's closed as we replace the cardio equipment in there. Um, several members know that have been going down there. They've left little notes and say, when's this equipment going to be uh, replaced? We are replacing them. I think there's six pieces. I'm probably wrong on the amount, but all the cardio equipment will be replaced. And so we have to close it down to allow them to move out the equipment, put the new equipment in, plug it in, check it, make sure it works. And so, uh, sorry for the inconvenience, but you can go back on Thursday and you'll have brand new cardio equipment down there in the South Clubhouse. Okay. Well, this next question is kind of a hot topic in the community. Banning is proposing water oh, yes. and sewage rate increases. What can homeowners do if they are opposed to these rate increases? Right, and so a key thing, we talked about this the last up admin update. We talked about it at the district delegates. You should have received a notice from the city, a, a Proposition 218 protest form. Now, if you didn't and you're signed up for our uh, email blast, Hernan sent that out um, that, with this uh, document, and I believe it's also on our website. It is. Um, but the key thing is you must respond. If you don't respond, it's considered that you agree with the proposed change. So it's key to have your voice heard. Now, Michelle Walter uh, advised uh, the delegates that she would collect them. So if you don't want to mail it in, you can take it to the admin office, the front desk reception, uh, say, hey, I'm, these are the protest forms. They will hold them. And Michelle Walter will be coming weekly to, or twice a week, whatever, to, to come pick them up. And she's going to take them down to City Hall herself. But again, you need to fill it out. Now, there's a section a lot of people are questioning. I don't know my uh, assessor's parcel number. Right. That's okay. You can put the address. And it says right there in in the instructions that uh, in order to to um, oppose or protest, it's got to be in writing. State that you're opposed to it. You write that there. Identify the parcel. So you can either put your um, APN, the assessor's parcel number, or your address. So just put in your address there and then making sure that you sign it. That's a key thing that you've got to sign it or they're going to say it's incomplete. Kind of like our ballots that we do for elections. But really, residents, please, you've got to respond. And this is also for homeowners and tenants can fill this out to respond to the city. Again, if you don't vote, they assume that you're happy. That you're happy with, please raise our fees, yeah. raise our fees. Charge us and, more. Right. So please, uh, residents, respond. And they need to be in the hands of the All city clerk. Yes. By November 8th at 5, 5 p.m. Yes, thank Correct. you very much. Mm -hmm. Man, you should just run this whole thing. You know, you're in the okay. know. Yeah, I like you that. You know, I'm one of those people that got to be prepared. I like that. I like that. Okay, we're, we have an EPAP earthquake drill mm -hmm. coming up on Thursday, October 20th. Right. How should residents prepare for this drill? Perfect question. So, EPAP, I'm really uh, happy that they're doing this. They put something out in the... Uh, a little article or notice in the lifestyles but there is an earthquake drill and there's a little flyer that talks about Thursday October 20th um, at 1020 so this has already been going on with the zone captains the districts so really it's them for their awareness but how you the member can participate in this is what you need to do is as the drill begins at 1020 that's the big shakeout as well so on October 20th at 1020, not 420, 1020 a.m., place your yellow card. There's a little yellow card you have, which indicates that you are okay. Put it on your front window that faces the street because what's going to happen is those zone captains, those district uh, representatives are going to come by and make sure it's up. It's a test to see 
are people participating? Because if, if there's a low participation, that's something that, okay, maybe we need to do some more marketing or advise our residents that, that they need to do this so that uh, uh, the card is there, lets them know it's okay. Um, and the EPAP zone captains will be in the neighborhood looking for these yellow cards. Now, as a reminder, and this little flyer has it, it's only a drill. Mm -hmm. So it's a good time to create your personal emergency plan, update your go bag, and locate any important paperwork or prescriptions you will need in the event you have to leave your home in an actual disaster. So one, put the yellow uh, card up, and then do some homework. Prepare your get out bag or your go bag and make sure the paperwork is in there and prescriptions, key things to do. And I really like that EPAP is back doing this. Um, so that's this is good, good for our community. And that little yellow card, they can find that in their file of life that they received when they moved in. Yes. I keep mine on my refrigerator. That's it, that's it. And with that's all where the they information that- That's where they recommend. Yes. That's it. Okay. Advisory committees are looking for people to replace committee members whose terms are expiring. Mm -hmm. What do you need to do if you're interested in participating on an advisory committee? Okay, so what you need to do is either go to the administration office and pick up a volunteer interest form or go online and download it, complete it, and then turn it in. So say you want to be on uh, the Master Architectural Committee or the Golf Advisory or, well, um, marketing, whatever. Fill that out, your information, where you want to participate, and turn that in. Because the board will be looking, uh, and some of the committees are looking for more members. And so uh, the sooner you can get that in, that helps the committees, it helps the board get ready for the next year. Again, online, in the admin office, at the reception desk, turn it back in there, give it in attention, Tammy Morgan, she'll get that and inform the committees and the board. Okay. Very important if you want to participate in the committee structure here at Sun Lakes. Mm -hmm. Well, on the last question we have, can you provide some information on upcoming projects? So right now we have, I want to uh, do, again, a uh, shout out for Greek Night. It's on November, I'm trying to remember. November 5th. 5th, November 5th, 130 tickets. Um, again, we're, uh, some of the things that some of the committees are working on Again, the Common Area Advisory Committee is looking at Gate 1 and Gate 2, the feasibility of converting those to a non-water um, fixture. They're still working on that. Um, some of the other things right now, we're kind of slowing down. We're kind of in the end of the year. Um, the Board and the Finance Advisory Committee kind of looked at the reserve study, the impacts, um, because you know for, for several years we've kind of deferred projects I know six years I've been here, we've talked about the irrigation on the golf course and it just keeps getting getting pushed, pushed, pushed. Um, kind of like kicking the can down the road. And so right now the board and the FAC are evaluating that and seeing the impact on, if I don't do it now, how much is it gonna cost in two years? It will cost more. Do we have the money? Well, we have nine plus million dollars for this. Are we gonna do a project or not? And so right now we're, we're slowing down. This will allow the board to work on their strategic plan, what they want to get for next year. Um, what are the, going to be the priorities? Are we going to talk about uh, the, we did the greens bunkers on the championship course. Are we going to do the fairway bunkers on the championship course? Are we going to start looking on the north course and do redo those bunkers? These are all questions that uh, the board and the committee's GAC, finance advisory, et cetera, need to develop a plan and then submit that and then let the people know what's happening. So that's what's going on right now. So as big projects, we're kind of slowing down for the remainder of the year. Okay. Well, before we wrap this up for the month of mm -hmm. October, do you have anything else you'd like to talk about? Nothing except happy Halloween. Look forward to Thanksgiving. And again, thank you for taking the time to do this. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Well, thank you for joining us this morning. If you have questions that you would like answered, we have two ways that you can submit them. One, you can go to the Sun Lakes website at sunlakescc.com, go to the member your member account and select message to management. The other way is we now have a box in the main clubhouse lobby at the receptionist desk. You can submit your question or concern there 
and someone in administration or Chris will address it when we get together again next month. Once again, thank you for joining us. I'm Anita Lawrence for Good Day Sun Lakes. Cheers.